ओके तो अंकित जैन आपने कब आपने ग्रेजुएशन अपनी ट्वेंटी में पूरी करी थी राइट बी इकोनॉमिक्स में कौन सा ब्लॉक था आपका कौन सा कौन सा ब्लॉक था क्राइस्ट में ओके आई वाज इट ब्लॉक 1 ब्लॉक 1 अच्छा तो क्राइस्ट ऑपोजिट टू सेंट्रल ब्लॉक ऑपोजिट टू सेंट्रल ब्लॉक अच्छा वो जो आइलैंड के सामने एक ब्लॉक है हां जी एग्जैक्टली exactly. अच्छा 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 तो आप क्राइस्ट आते रहते हो हां जी आई आई कीप कमिंग बैक बिकॉज़ ऑफ एनी वर्क और एनी काइंड ऑफ वी वर वर्किंग ऑन अ फ्यू प्रोजेक्ट्स विद क्राइस्ट आप देख के ऐसा लगता है on the day of the exam i used to come at morning 7 am prepare for the people and then go right in so i, I was never first batcher okay so christ mein kya khana pina kuch miss karte ho kya miss karta hu christ mein main cheez kya miss karte ho christ ka food attendance attendance kitni thi aapki attendance was 85 85 se upar kabhi gayi nahi humne bol chuka tha ki ha 85 ke niche ek bar gayi hai that was back in first year to had a sister's wedding to tab इतना सेट था क्राइस जितना अब आएगा सेम लेवल है सेम लेवल सेम लेवल इनफैक्ट हमारे टाइम में तो इफ वी हैड अटेंडेंस बिलो 85 लाइक एट द एनसेम कि जब हम यार की एनसेम चालू हो रही है और तब मेरी okay. 85% पहुंची है तो आई हैड टू पे अ फाइन ऑफ 1500 रुपीस एंड गिव 20 आवर्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी आवर्स हां वो तो अब भी है बट नाउ पीपल आर गेटिंग डिटेल बिकॉज़ ऑफ शॉर्टेज ऑफ अटेंडेंस तो इतना सेट था oh. हां डिटेल तो यस देयर एनीवन बिलो 50% बिकॉज़ आई रिमेंबर हमारा एक क्लासमेट था जिसकी 52 या 53 थी, तो तो ही वाज अच्छा, ठीक है। इकोनॉमिक्स बैकग्राउंड से होके आप बिजनेस में कैसे? ओके, माय माय बिजनेस वाज नेवर ओरिएंटेड विद स्टडीज। आई बी वेरी आई नेवर टुक आई नेवर काइंड ऑफ प्लान माय स्टडीज फॉर माय करियर ओके आई जो लर्निंग आपने करी इन योर ग्रेजुएशन टाइम वो बिजनेस में अप्लाई हो रही है ओह एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन आई मैम आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू क्राइस्ट फॉर दैट वन थिंग बिकॉज़ व्हेनेवर जब हम कोई दूसरी कॉलेज से आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड में जाते हैं काम के लिए टू कॉल इन टू द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड वी आर नॉट रेडी फॉर इट लेट मी बी ऑनेस्ट माइट बी विद ड्रेसिंग माइट बी विद हाउ वी अपीयर माइट बी विद आवर विद द वे वी पुट आउट अक्रॉस टू पीपल इज वेरी डिफरेंट ऑफ हाउ क्राइस्ट हैज मेड अस Like today, if you are very, you are you are okay wearing formals and going anywhere at any point of time. Yes, right? and yeah, a lot of companies. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now in the corporate world, the first impression that goes out is how do you present yourself? Now people say it's okay to wear a pant shirt, t-shirt, anything casual. Go back to the corporate world, and that's yeah. when they judge you. Okay. But your first impression, or like if you have to stand out. Stand out among the all hundred people. Will okay. you will be you when you're seriously showing that? Okay, I want to be this professional. Okay. And formal behavior is one of the ways to show how professional you are. Your your actions might be different. Somebody might understand you later. Your HR or any any of the corporate uh, officers might understand your job later. But the first impression that's created is with the professional behavior, and that comes only with formal, only with formal behavior. So that is something that I've learned from Christ. This is my personal experience. and that's what i'm talking about might be people have different experiences not talking about that but with my personal experiences it says ki logo ko nahi pata hai i'm a 23 year old boy yeah and i go to a company where there are 3000 employees working now okay. the hr or the head has so many things to take care of he has a different perspective managing 3000 people correct and the same way if i am going in front of him as a 23 year old entrepreneur the first thing that he's going to get is what is the credibility of this man okay second point will be how reliable is he Okay. And the third point will 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 be how will I actually work with this young man, right? Okay. No, no. When as soon as I go very formally in front of them, they are clear of one aspect that I know how to behave in a public place. I you know the know, ethics of the corporate. Yes. Place. They are clear with that, and that brings them confidence. Okay. Thank you. This okay. is where a lot of them, a lot of them lag behind. Like okay. I, I have seen. So you see, companies like Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, they really don't care about your outfit. Okay. But they don't care about your outfit when you start working at their company. Okay. But just That's imagine that. Insightful. Huh? That's yes. really so insightful. Just, yeah, just imagine the HR who's taking your interview. He goes through hundreds of people every day. 
hundreds of hmm. people giving him all the cream butter that he wants correct to select right correct why how do you stand out out of these 100 people 95 people of all different colleges either just come like you know in a t-shirt or proper collared t-shirt come in front yes. of them wearing a sports shoe uh, wearing a jeans right all of that is good i'm not saying that's not a good outfit but every place has its own position and that is very important okay now today when i go for a lot of meetings i see a lot of it uh, background people who are who have who have kind of accomplished a lot right but so they come uh, in any yeah i'm going to sorry to interrupt you but i have seen companies who provide informal clothes to their employees uh, correct for purpose but so like they are not complying with this formal uh, code i think 100% that is my whole point that i'm trying to put out that you will become an employee and then you will start behaving in a certain way okay. but how do you give the confidence to a person who is unknown to you unknown to you correct now i i challenge you you wear formals on every day basis right and you step out of the college you go to a restaurant how many people notice you Do yeah, they notice you? I, I personally felt that. Yeah. Yeah, they notice you. No, why Correct. do they notice you? Because you are also a student, and these people have seen the other students as well from the other colleges as well. or other backgrounds. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. But they don't. They don't look at them at the way they look at you. So the whole point is that when you are meeting an unknown person, what is the first action or the first uh, kind of impression? Impression. That you're yeah. First yeah. impression. The last so impression. Build that yes, I'm a formal man. I'm here trying to show that I'm serious to my work. Okay. Yeah. Now, why why do people wear coats or suits in US? It's a capitalist country. Makes sense. Right? Yeah. Even there, companies don't say that you have to come in suits. But why do people wear it? Yeah. I mean, yes, were you a fester? Right. Were you a fester? Were you a fester? 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 I did not get it. No, fester, fester. Did you do any sort of fest? आपने fest करे आपने college में? Oh no! I was a part of the uh, managing community, definitely for uh, Vritanta. It was a small arts club. We had like three fifty students, so I was a finance head at that moment. Uh, okay. But apart from that, we we were very good at organizing fests and all mm-hmm. that that we've done for our department. So, did you go to any activity apart from apart from studies? Oh, apart from studies, like my my okay, most of my time went to do co-curricular activities. When I say co-curricular, it used to either be um, going out to get all the posters to be put across all the campuses, okay, like, or from the economics department to go spread out the news about the fest to other colleges. They still do it. Yeah, yeah I've seen them. I've seen them running from back gate to front gate. Exactly. So th- that's yeah. what we used to do. That way, I was way too sincere, but I was never sincere at studies. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Were you part of any so, theater team or something like that? Oh no, I was not. I'm I'm very bad at theater. I'm 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 ridiculous at it. Like I'm hopeless. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I did at Christ is I made good friends. At the same okay. time, whoever my whoever were the seniors, we kept interacting with them, not for studies, hundred percent not for studies, but to understand who they are. Okay. What do they do? That's all. Did you find did you find your team uh, in your college only? Did you? Did you find your team in your college itself? Oh no, not at all. I'm this sole founder in my company. Okay, that's really and great. In my entire team, there is no one who who has come as a related person to me whom I've known before, okay. or as a person who has kind of known me before. No one. Then, Everybody. what did Christ actually give you the confidence to build up such a great business, or something yes. apart from that? If if I have to answer this question, the only simple thing: how many have you have you noticed that outside Central Block, outside the Gourmet, you see these government vehicles standing there? An army uh, officer vehicle standing. Have you ever noticed? Or any of these chief guests coming to our college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen that. Look at the amount of respect that they get. Correct. Right. That was something that always kept me. Uh, it it triggered me in college. I said, if I want to do something, I want to do something that's going to put me at this position where I'm going to be a chief guest this way in college. I come back to my college this way. Right. Now, see, there are people have different visions in them, but my vision was. My my simple vision was that you need to be respected from the place you've come. You need to be recognized, and that recognition can only come when you are actually able to do something impactful. Doing something good for so, the society. So that one thing that Christ taught is that you have to stand out. Yeah. It is strict, hundred percent. The the entire atmosphere is way too particular, very strict. But at the same time, we need to understand if we have to go out into the after our college and all of that, the world is very different. Yeah. And if we have to survive. We will have to be. How oh, how different? How do you define different? How do I define different? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ba- just a month, not even a month back, twenty five, twenty days back, I was at a mm-hmm. college. Uh, trying to, we we just collaborated with them 
to understand what is uh, waste management. Okay. And they were all engineering students, second year engineering students. Okay. And the only simple question I had put across was, do you know what is global warming? Okay. Not one person could answer it. Okay. Right. Not one person from engineering second year. Now, coming back, I tried after three days on Feb 28th, I was at a school called as uh, Stonehill International School. That's based out of Vietnam. Okay. Again, I was there giving the same talk about waste management. The same thing that I did at the college. Right. They, whom did I address? I, I addressed the class five students. And those class five students had questions about what is your revenue? What is your break even point? How sustainable it is three years down the line when government are going to bring in the protocol rule for it? So, so do you see that gap, the parity that we have between the yeah, entire fear? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, now, now just imagine how will we survive? How do we have to, like, I'm 100% sure. Uh, okay, uh, Madhav, just come on your side. I can see a poster right behind you. I just want to read that. Okay, I shall. Okay. Silence is better than lies. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. The same. Will you, will you, right? will you, will you judge me on that? Oh, not at all. I, I mean, uh, that is something it, it, that is giving me a perspective. That, that is all. Yeah, correct. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, so now uh, just look at this variety of the students. Okay. If we have to stand out, I'm sure you want to excel. I'm sure you want to accomplish a lot of things. Everybody and how wants. do you do it? Everybody wants to. Yes. But everybody has to be different. Companies are not going to sell it by just showing how talented you are with your education. I'm sure even your Christ interview never happened that way. It was yeah. not more on your marks, but your credibility of how... But uh, I have you. this question. Uh, what is happening now? That everyone is different in the way they are struggling. I was in a session in Antofilip, so they said that there is a mean crisis. There is a mean, mean crisis. So, like, we, we are not able to differentiate or we are not getting to know how to differentiate from others. So it's like, what's happening now? There's a startup culture. So if, uh, yeah. if one person is doing a startup from my class, then everyone is saying, I have to do it. And they are doing the startup just for the sake of it. And then go to failures and all that. So I believe that differentiation is so much of a race and so much of a race has been created in our mind that in the different ways, they are doing it every time and every time. कि नहीं यार अभी भी different नहीं हूँ अभी भी different नहीं हूँ अभी भी कुछ extra करना पड़ेगा और उस वजह से I I believe student पे बहुत pressure बढ़ रहा है because मैंने personally वो feel करा है अगर मैं सिर्फ nine to four college जा रहा हूँ और four to let's say मैं पहले nine to four college जाता था उसके बाद I used to see people staying after four club hours के लिए co curricular activities के लिए फिर मैंने co curricular activities में भी enter कर गया now I stay in college from nine to nine you remember आपने उनको text करा था कि मै I will not be able to go to college because I was going to go to college. Now I think after being involved in all of this, I still believe I stand over. And this is what every child is facing. After thinking about something new in 9 to 4 college, if he is not able to find that particular thing, that he would make him stand out from the whole crowd. Got it, Madhav. Madhav, let me put this word difference. Yes. Difference is the word that we have to be different. This is a very, three, three, three words put in, but a very strong perspective to it. Now, when I say different, if you ask me today, how am I different? I bet you, I do not have anything. I, I am, I do not have the chart that I can give you as a scholar. Okay. Now that's, that might be different to me because I, as, as you look at me, you might be that, okay, this man might be intelligent. Am I right? Yeah. So for you, that might be different with me, but that's what I'm trying to put in. Difference does not mean that I have to be in a certain way. I am 0% creative. I tell my entire team, I am not creative. The only thing I have is that I know I want this thing to be worked out and I will make it work out. So you are trying to so say that, that everybody is different and good at a particular thing. Yes. And yes. that makes them so the point. Right. Now the point is that you don't have to keep finding differences in you. That will not make you a different person. But I tell you what is happening to me right now. I started doing marketing internship. I did a marketing internship in Scorely, a study abroad company. There I realized that marketing is not my type. Now I wanted okay. to do finance. So I'm still not able to figure out what I actually want to do, either marketing or finance or BA or ED. So that is what I right. meant when I said mean crisis, that we are not able to find our niche. We have to, let we are struggling a lot. 100%. Let me be very honest, Mother. No person starting from Mukesh Ambani to Vijay Malia, 
was ever able to figure out what do they want to do in their lives have you have you heard uh, one of the actor imran khan saying you just have to go with your life you, you yeah. should not know where you're going that is what i'm doing going with the flow that is all so now when you're going with the flow you know where you are right as yes. soon as you start looking at different things outside the world you're being distracted right so i i really do not so uh, let me let me be honest the time i was planning to start the startup i got a lot of backlash is stating first waste management it, it's not a field where anyone could enter second thing is that being educated i'm entering into waste management okay now just look at the type of different perspective people have that if i if i'm an educated person coming from christ i am supposed to do some other job not about waste right now when i started about waste i knew a normal raddi wala who is in your area in sipali you, you might be able to find is the same thing that i'm also doing yes correct but, in fact when i was going through your site i just looked ki aapne raddi wale ka kaam kaafi ऑटोमेट कर दिया है उसके लिए काफी आसान कर दिया है ही टू गो डिफरेंट प्लेसेस और वहां पे जा जाके उसको रद्दी कलेक्ट करनी थी नाउ अब इंक्वायरी पे जा सकता है यस सो दैट डिफरेंस दैट आई ब्रॉट इन इज आल्सो अ डिफरेंस फॉर मी इट डज नॉट हैव टू बी अ स्मॉल डिफरेंस और अ बिग डिफरेंस आई कैन नॉट मेजर दैट बट कैन आई से दैट आफ्टर यू ग्रेजुएटेड आपको पता लग गया था कि आपको क्या करना है नहीं नहीं So when I graduated, okay. So one thing I was very clear, even back in my college days. So I I took arts with UPSC. My my aim was UPSC. My my I, I even okay. told my parents and all of that that I want to do UPSC. Let me be very clear, right? Okay. That was in my first year. As soon as I came to my second year, I figured out I cannot do, it. I cannot, right? Now the second thing I also knew was that from class nine I've been into businesses. Okay. I've I've done accounting at different companies. Have learned have taken a salary of thousand five hundred rupees every month for this accounting. and i was happy with that okay right so when when i was in second year my my whole habit was even in christ anywhere i used to go my observation was very much there even if a shop like a xerox shop had like x wrong and they had z i felt that glitch in me i'm like why how are our people doing that and i felt like i could take the small small minute things on my head right and that's when i figured out okay that business is going to be my thing that i'm going to do okay so you are saying that uh, ki kya karna hai वो इतना ही जरूरी है जितना ये पता होना कि क्या नहीं करना तो लेकिन यू आर टू कैंसिल आउट इन कॉलेज एज वेल कि हां दिस इज वेयर आई एम नॉट गुड एट तो उसको कैंसिल आउट करते करते इवेंचुअली यू विल फाइंड समथिंग व्हिच इज करेक्ट यस नाउ लुक एट लुक एट पीपल मैन आई लुक एट पीपल देयर आर सो मेनी बिगर इन्फ्लुएंसर्स आई नो सो मेनी इन्फ्लुएंसर्स हु हैव मेट पर्सनली टू ऑफ देम आई हैव मेट दे 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 फ्लरिश्ड इन सच अ वे दैट यू माइट सी दैट ओके ही इज द मैन आई वांट टू लुक अप टू but as soon as you meet them they don't do not even know how to talk in basic language they do not know what are ethics right so you get that difference now yeah, that now even he thought that i want to make a big difference i want to be different from others correct right and as soon as you meet them the perspective that you get is very different of what they portray and what is there yeah right yeah. one of the example last year if you, you were i don't think you were there uh, under 25 was under 25 the entire yeah. concept of under and to philip and to philip right so under 25 was one of the event where we used to look up to we like students look up to even today i'm sure you all look up to it yeah. but last year if you would have been at under 25 they had made a mess out of it they had made a mess up out of every business like i saw business or uh, small entrepreneurs crying there like every single person was crying there i'm i'm not right. getting you like crying there in the okay. same that Okay, so when I say crying there, now this under twenty five fest was a very big benchmark to be at. Yeah, it brings yeah. in a lot of hope for a small entrepreneur to be there and yeah. earn money through that project because it's a big community. Right? Yes. As soon as we were there, we were there. There were no stalls. There was only mud around. I so tell you, you that is the reason. That is the reason. This time under twenty five, me itta enrollment nahi hua, jitta zoomer end me hua tha. Now people are interested more in this concerts and all rather than wahan pe because unka reach khatam ho gaya. Jo pehle tha, wo. Yeah. So so now why for, why did this problem happen? Anto Philip is a smart man. Yes, Shriyansh is a smart person. man, right? They are all smart, but the, but also the fact that you're just not building a brand there. Your brand is being built by people who are being a part of it, and that is public. If you do not take consideration of the public, nobody is going to come to you. I tell this to a lot of store people as well. Where there is so much of rush, they start behaving very rudely to people. And I say this that you have to just be normal. You have to be humble enough as a human being. If you are that, then everything will come to you. A marketing person of under twenty-five official does not know what is Instagram promotion. 
how do you call him as as a marketing person so you get those small things that like that brings in the loop yeah. yeah so according to me the difference or like i have to be different is not in such a way because you look at me i am not healthy i am not a bodybuilder no, as such you look good you look good yeah but, but at the same time i know it's all the actions that will talk at the end of the day you know what are your actions at your family at your friends at your job everything no matter how toxic the job is it can get n number of reduction in your work capacity by just showing how your attitude is how humble if you are is, yeah how humble you are like i mean i being invited to christ i have not achieved anything yet i have not won any of the awards i tell it openly i have not achieved anything but still i am coming to christ is because i want to be humble enough to show people that you have to take the small steps you need to understand that you are doing this right achieve that it does not mean you it not today when i run a startup i get so many other startup ideas as well okay in spite of like my business running peacefully my business is running successfully touch wood god's grace everything is going good we are getting positive response still i am like no i want to do that business because that's a human tendency tendency itself so you will never be able to figure out your way that okay i have to this, do this only or i will be able to do this only you will never be able to figure out uh 3 months back i met a person who, who used to work at a uh, mnc in sweden okay. now his package over there was close to 3.5 cr a year okay do you feel that is a success no personally i don't personally you don't like that perspective why why do you feel so because uh, see my father used to say uh, i hope mere papa mere ye video na dekh rahe but okay uh, my father said that uh, if you are earning uh, 4 5 crores of package per annum tab to khush hoga ye and wo everything will be sorted what i say is ki this is not healthy for me this is not what is wealth this is just a revenue i am just working more hard to get that 5 crore ka package i am i am not building a system and and yeah. there is a saying agar agar company mujhse 5 crore kama rahi hai to company ko mujhse 7 crore mil rahe honge tabhi mere ko 5 crore de rahi hai that means i am working yeah. for a 7 crore sum और अगर वो चीज मैं अपने ऊपर लगाऊंगा अपने बिजनेस के ऊपर लगाऊंगा दैट विल क्रिएट वेल्थ फॉर मी रादर देन जस्ट मनी एंड ऑल अग्रीड राइट नाउ यू हैव अ पर्सपेक्टिव व्हिच इज दैट यू वांट टू बिल्ड समथिंग यस नाउ व्हेन यू सेड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टार्ट अप विद अ लॉट ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स बिकॉज़ आई स्टार्टेड टुमारो यू से दैट माय फ्रेंड आई गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू टेक द पार्ट ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप यस नाउ यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर ऑफ व्हाट इज गोइंग टू गो एज अ स्टेक इन दैट व्हाट आर यू लूजिंग ऑन एंड व्हाट इज इट दैट यू विल गेन Okay. If I run a startup, my dad is a billionaire, and I've borrowed some money and I started a startup, and I have nothing to lose. Even if I it went into loss for a year, I do feel that privileged I'm, about that fact. Uh, do I feel privileged of the fact? Yes, of that you have the you had that money in your hand to invest in the startup and. Oh, I did not have money, mother. That is my whole point. So. uh that that is the perspective that i'm getting to you is that okay. when when, 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 when my, my parent might be a millionaire i might take mm-hmm. money from him i built a startup right and i lost it i lost amount but there is no effect there is no effect coming on to my family there is no effect coming on to me because i tried my best to run it but it did not happen that's a different scene but now as soon as students like us graduate and we try to build our future we are trying to build a future to be a better person tomorrow not someone who is just out of outside their mind right and that is the time when we are supposed to have the least pressure onto us least pressure of society least pressure of money as well now look at people investing in crypto millions of people investing in crypto and at the same time millions of people are crying over crypto right so someone who is going to lose and they have no effect that's okay but people like me when i started off the startup i knew my dad can afford money to give me but i also knew that i'm responsible to someone right i can i'm going to lose out money tomorrow my dad will never have confidence in me Right. where he is invested today 85 lakhs over over a years time he is invested 85 lakhs in my company without questioning me that ankit where is this money going if i did not take care of my basic finances when i started off basic finances meaning i just start hiring people like i was um, I'll, i'll give you a small example i'll take just 2 minutes for this entire thing about startup uh, 2021 june is when we started our company right okay and uh, that is when we launched our website as well the first query on our website was from a company again which was a startup now this startup had so many management level people who came from different backgrounds different experiences background right and i met them um, a year later i was in touch with all the founders co-founders and the people working so their entire team was around 27 people 
Okay. And those 27 people had a package of minimum of 1.5 lakhs every month. One person, right? And it was a startup. Keep this as a note, Madhu. But they had all those big people involved as at management level. Okay. A year down the line, back in 2022, October is when I met the founder and he says, Ankit, why are you not scaling your project? I mean, sir, I'm, I, I'm taking my own time. I'm not reached funding. I'm doing it on my own. So I need my own time. And he says, no, this is not how you can work. You need to know where your exit level is. At what time do you have to exit? And we are entering into Shark Tank. He said in 2022, he's entering into Shark Tank. Then I'm like, okay, man, he started off the, at the same time when I started my startup. And he's okay. reached that Shark Tank level. And I'm still at the level of figuring out how my business will work. So where did you lack in? That was not where I lacked in. That was, back in, again, in, in 2022, after the Shark Tank program, two months in 2023, March, they shut down. They got funding from Shark Tank. Trust me, they got their funding from Shark Tank at valuation of 100 crores. And they shut down in the month of March. Why? Ask me why. Now tell me where did they lag in? Maybe uh, it, it's just a guess. Maybe they raised funding without any cause, or maybe they were not in need to get funds. But they shut down their company. Why would they shut down? Even if the funds were funds is a different topic altogether. Why did they shut down their company? Oh, in yeah. fact, I'm supposed to get two lakhs from them even today because that's supplied a <laughs> recycled material, right? So they came at hundred crores of valuation. Now look, that is a benchmark for an entrepreneur like me. That I have right. been, I've seen a client of mine coming and on Shark Tank. Three months down the line, they've shut down. Now, the reason is their revenue is where 20 lakhs a month, right? And their expenditure was 40 lakhs a month. Okay. Now, the founder did a founder when he starts off with the business. You need to understand if, if whether it is the money coming from funding or it, whether it is your own money. It is money. If you do not respect that money, it will not come to you. They were, they, after six months of their entire business, they started making revenue of two lakhs, three lakhs. Until then, they already won the crore because he kept one HR manager, he kept one marketing manager, he, and everyone from a very good background. Right? How can a company afford to do that? You have to be a bunny at a point of time. You have to understand those metrics in those. Right? So, business is not a, it, 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 business does not mean that I'm going to get money. I'm going to start my business and it's going to flourish. No. As an entrepreneur, as a founder, I will have to feel that pain to keep an HR manager, to keep that pain, get to know that pain of why do I need a marketing officer now? Right. You get my point? So if you would have not spent those money in the beginning, where he had to spend like 18 lakhs, 20 lakhs every month, they, it would have been sustainable. They were at least not burning money. Yes. At least revenue would have kept, kept coming in. But that did not happen to them. Do you manage your finances on your own? 100% today I manage everything like till date everything is managed by me and and it's 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 a responsibility because I am responsible to someone else as well because it's not something that I have just put in right? yeah so if I have yeah, to make, make, yeah we do have accountants we do have accountants working on the accounts but I know that they are someone who can help me out with it but cannot manage my finances but do not know where do I save the thousand rupees where do I save those 500 rupees they so they do not and that is where a lot of startups fail as well because they say i was i was at an event back in dubai uh on february 23rd and 24th uh, a person comes there for investment it was a conference that way where it was like a shark tank itself so the entrepreneur is there the founder is there and then he has two people who is his co-founder and the marketing head as well out of these two people as well the when the investors ask what is your revenue may you make and what is your expenses the founder had to call the co-founder and the marketing person to ask those details. You cannot. You you are liable for every single thing of the company. You, you represent yeah. the company, so yeah, you're liable. Exactly. You represent. You told it by yourself. If you're representing, you need to know everything is reliable on you. Yeah. 